Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on how not to get scammed on OLX while purchasing two stroke bikes or let's say parts. So one of the biggest scam these scamsters use these days is they do not use their own pictures and instead they use somebody else's pictures. So I am going to show you guys an example. People who are familiar with my Shogun build will remember these pictures. So these pictures are from my Shogun build and he has just lifted those pictures and has posted an ad in such a way that it looks like it is his own. So if even if you don't have original pictures to show that clearly shows that there is something to hide and these are the kind of people you should avoid. So a simple reverse search of the image can show you that this is part of my team BHP thread. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the filter and make it to whole India. So we will see more of such examples. So once we move down, after all the parts mostly, we can see some bikes also listed on sale. So this particular bike which is listed for 30,000 has taken my fancy because you know there are people who still believe in genies lotteries and you know miracles for them this is kind of a trap so you know just to give you an example if i take a rx100 <coughs> put a board around it that it is for sale and park it at a junction i'll get more money than what is asked here and just to make this bike look like the condition it is in it would cost more than a lakh so 30,000 that's definitely a flag also then papers are clear like you can see you know and the biggest hop story is uh, that he needs money urgently so there are people who will you know kind of uh, club it with the covid situation and think that you know he's really in a bad situation so he's selling it for 30,000 rupees so that is one uh, you also fall into the trap so what I've done is I have actually show I'm showing you a method in which um, you can verify the genuinity of the pictures so this guy has done some bit of effort which will be visible in a few seconds so what you can do is you can download one of the images and then do a re reverse search on Google so when you do a reverse search most likely these kind of people what they do is they just you know uh, take these images from uh, Google search that was the usual practice and then what they would do is they would post them for sale I've seen my own bike for sale multiple times but uh, nowadays these guys have got a bit more smart the what they do is they actually go into people's Instagram, download images from there and then post those for sale. So those Instagram, Facebook feeds usually don't show up in Google search. So that is uh, another thing. So you can see a lot of similar bikes um, which comes up in the reverse search. So you would have understood how the reverse search works. So just look through. If you see this bike, then that means by clicking on the link you can get more history of the said bike but like I said he is little smarter so he has done um, something else another point is it's an MH registered uh, bike with a fancy number and uh, this guy is from Sikandrabad so I will show you another example <coughs> so in this example the location says it is in Kochi uh, and it is the price is also you know right because the 30,000 rupees is definitely not believable 2.5 s so when people see say the location is Kochi then you know they you know that is one thing that would make them at least send a message to this guy so one thing that jumped at me and I know for sure this is not Kochi is uh, in one of the images you can see that board in the front which says copy and most of the shops in Kerala don't use that kind of a board so 
and also the surroundings doesn't look like uh, it is from Kerala another thing is there is also shipping and NOC mentioned below so that is obvious that this bike doesn't is not in Kerala so this is the third example um, this is a very important example because most of the guys get scammed here so this is a Delhi registered bike and as most of you guys know that Delhi registration bikes have that 15 year rule wherein they cannot be re-registered once the 15 year is over there is some exemption with the vintage vehicles but RD 350s unfortunately don't fall into the vintage category yet and uh, because of which if you buy a Delhi registered bike even with papers papers as in they will give you an affidavit and an RC you can only use it as a parts bike so that is another thing that you have to pay attention to so most of the people don't you know search for RD 350s maximum number of people actually search for RX and especially RXZ so that is where people get scammed more often so you know I have put the low to high filter so mostly what you can see is parts and then um, once you cross the 10,000 rupee barrier that is when you start seeing bikes okay so there is one listing that is very interesting so if you look at the listing uh, he has mentioned that uh, there is no dent on the tank and the obvious problem is not the dent on the tank it is actually pretty dirty so looks like from the looks of it this is a bike which might have come to some workshop for restoration and somebody must have taken pictures and is posting it for sale so trust me guys even if you break this rd i mean rx z into parts um, you will get more than 13,000 rupees right now the cylinder itself will cost you that kind of money so that's again a fake ad so there are other ads like this one wherein somebody is looking for a bike so that is something which not, is not to be supposed to be confused with um, something which happens as a scam then most this is something which happens only in Kerala um, it's kind of funny and I was a little curious that is the reason why I clicked on this so this is not an RXZ this is basically a YBX YBX is a four stroke bike so that is kind of modified to look like an RXZ so this is another thing that you have to be very careful at otherwise you know you will see the younger sister's picture and most likely you will be getting married to the elder one so that's not how you want this to be done and now let's do one thing you know this is the lower spectrum so this is where most of the cheating happens um, I will also share the um, higher spectrum so the highest price if I actually reverse the filter and put it high to low the highest price for these bikes is from Kerala okay so that is another thing besides COVID uh, treatments that Kerala can be proud of um, so as you can see the first bike 180,000 rupees is from Kerala and um, looks good it is kind of recently restored everything looks nice but there are a couple of things that jump on see um, this kind of a premium is asked because the bike should either be an original Kerala bike or it should be um, something which is a original 5 speed so right now it says it's a 2003-4 model so that means it's an original 5 speed but uh, the uh, center panel the engine guard is not original because um, there is a small shield which um, covers the cat silencer uh, near the engine guard so that is missing uh, and also um, the ad itself says it's a re-registered bike so I don't think um, it is worth the kind of asking money because there are other options available um, so the next thing that we can do is we can look at multiple other listings and I'll also tell you how the prices on OLX get influenced by people okay 
so this is the next ad so as you can see it is a screenshot of a picture and he is actually looking for a bike rather than selling one so I if I was in the market looking for a bike I would definitely not ask for a bike at 180,000 rupee I would actually look for something cheaper so this is how people actually jack up the rates and prices um, this is another good example of an RXZ but uh, you know that's again the prices are atrocious um, so this is how you you know jack up the price by going ahead and increasing the uh, you know asking price of these bikes by saying that you want a bike at this price so Mr. OLX is doing a good job uh, in doing that um, another thing that is worth mentioning is apart from Kerala uh, Karnataka is a place where these bikes are really expensive like you know that is another market where you would like to go if you would like to buy um, a well maintained two stroke and these um, Karnataka bikes actually are more original than some Kerala bikes that I've seen I'm not saying that the Kerala bikes are not original but usually the restoration for Karnataka bikes are done um, in a way that the originality is maintained um, this bike actually um, looks pretty original as you can see um, the images show look at the stand you know those are small things which actually makes the difference you know the center stand is different in the shape so um, that is one thing but seeing this what actually is little upsetting is you know five speeds we can understand they are rare they are different they had a front disc brake so there was some value attached to it but people selling four speeds at that price is little you know sad um, I don't know who this guy is whose ad I'm going to open now he could be one of our subscribers he could be one of our viewers um, but I don't think this bike justifies the asking price looking at the condition um, there is not much description so this is not how you would uh, you know ask for a 1 lakh 25,000 rupee um, through an ad by just showing these kind of pictures at least give it a wash you know clean it properly make it a little bit more presentable so uh, that is a bit about how you can differentiate between a original and a fake ad and now I'm going to talk a bit about how you can find a good deal on OLX and otherwise see the prices that you see on OLX is not the price these things are sold at so if this guy is asking her one lakh twenty five thousand rupee for his bike um, I don't think it will get sold for that price maybe it can get sold for you know in a very optimistic scenario at around 1 lakh but I don't think that is gonna happen either um, but that is just me there are people who do see value um, so the best thing that you can do uh, in such a case is pick up the phone ask the guy uh, where he is located and if you are located in the same city it's usually better to look for vehicles in the same city rather than you know looking at a different state because this is not the last bike on earth if you look for Yamaha RXZs, you will see a lot of bikes. Um, if you are from one of those places where no bikes are available, then you can look at neighboring states or districts where you can see this. Um, find out the number of the guy, call the guy up, talk to him, find out what um, this bike is. You know, get, don't get on the person's nerve. If you have a lot of questions, make sure that you note down those questions before you call um, so that you know you don't go off track another important point is you make sure you ask the person if it is the right time to talk because I have you know listed ads at around 10 30 in the night and my biggest mistake was I actually left my number also in the ad and within like 10 minutes I got a call so 
10 30 at a you know is a very awkward time to call some completely random stranger probably you know they might not be prepared to take your call at that time so it's always better to call the person say that i'm calling on behalf of an ad uh, on olx and you know ask them if it's a good time to talk so once you talk to that person first of all you're not supposed to ask for the price you know price is a secondary thing you should first like the thing that you buy see i have seen things like you know i have seen 5 paise 10 paise coins on olx where sellers are asking 20000 rupees you know i was born in 81 and till around 88 89 or even through the 90s we use these coins so i cannot fathom these coins selling for that kind of money so you know don't try to negotiate on the price immediately first thing you need to see is whether it's a workable location like you know if you have a friend or let's say if you can personally go and check it out um, make sure you find out if you can go and personally check the vehicle or the spare so if the person says that no he cannot he doesn't have time for all that he has a lot of offers so you know it's it's time for you to avoid those kind of people because you know if that is the attitude even before you are talking to this guy there's a good chance that you might get a raw deal and then this person might not even uh, you know pay attention to or give you basic service which you know people consider as an essential service so uh, make sure that you talk everything out uh, and very important nobody likes to hear your gyan so nobody wants to find out um, you know if the engine number starts with this series or nobody has the time to give out those kind of details best thing is to ask them you know when was it restored if it was restored how many owners are there if the papers are clear probably you can ask them you know if they know what size the um, cylinder is on ask them about the general condition of the bike and also ask them about um, if the price is negotiable face to face or are you stern on the price so you get an idea so even if they say they are stern on the price when you meet face to face when you are the mr right for that bike most likely you will get that person coming down on the price so make sure you do that another important thing is if you want to buy a pre loved or a very well maintained vehicle you are not supposed to look on olx okay the best place to look for those kind of vehicles is on owners group not facebook owners group see if you can join some whatsapp owner group if you can join some facebook owner groups and you can see who are the people who are you know posting the most go through the history of the page you will see there are you will definitely understand who are sellers and who are uh, people who have taken care of their bikes so if you ask somebody that you are looking for a bike there is a very good chance that you will see a lot of people who would um, respond to your question and uh, if you you know already know the frequent sellers of the group you can filter them and you can find out more you can chat with that person the person can tell you more about the bike they can say okay um, this bike was you know restored there is a good chance that it might be kept well so that's a good place to start searching other thing is find out mechanics in your area see i'll i'll give you an example about kerala it might not hold true for uh, your part of the country but in kerala it is considered really auspicious to you know either buy a new vehicle or restore a vehicle somewhere near vishu that's a festival or onam or towards christmas new year so these are the most prominent festivals around which you will see a re restored vehicle coming on the road so if you go to these mechanics you will see certain bikes being worked at okay and there might be some bikes who might have seen many onams many christmas many wishes in the workshop those are people who have either lost interest in their bikes or have you know ran out of money because restoring two stroke bikes can turn into an open pit 
so in in such a scenario uh, you can go and talk to that uh, mechanic ask that person first of all you know if you straight away go and ask him if there is a bike available for sale they might not tell you anything because there has to be something there for them so you know before you go plan to visit a mechanic see if he has a facebook page see if he has an instagram page find out from other people in the group if they have used this guy's service find out you know if um, he has any new bills which are quite famous so these are conversation pieces which you can add see there can be a worst mechanic in the city and there can be a best mechanic in the city it is obvious that most of these vehicles will go to a best mechanic in the city than the worst one so if you want a good deal and if you want a reasonably good vehicle then you need to go to the best mechanic in the city so you tell that person that you know i have been following your bills i have been seeing the restoration that you do and i would really want to have one of my bikes to be restored through you so you know i want to know when you have the time to do that and i also want to know if there are any vehicles that you know of which i can purchase and get it restored from you completely from scratch so that is how these scrap bikes you know come out these scrap bikes are hidden in everybody's uh, stash people don't reveal them unless and until you show them what is there in it for them okay so now that you have dangled a carrot the mechanic will you know either open up or if he doesn't open up you keep frequenting that guy he is not the only guy in the city you talk to other mechanics in the city there will be somebody who will open up their you know stash they will show them the bikes so usually what happens is there would be 5 to 7k uh, commission that this mechanic will have it in this bike so you know ask him you know tell him don't don't tell sob stories tell him that you know you are really interested but you know you are kind of tight at the moment um, but you have seen you should also tell him bring him into confidence how you are going to raise money for the re restoration so tell him that you know i have a bike which is to be sold or you know give him an example that there is some money expected through a legitimate source which is coming in which can be used for this restoration um, so they might come down a bit um then see if you can directly talk to the owner most of the mechanics will connect you directly to the owner and the owner um might not be the right owner it might be sometimes their own you know insiders who will be very arrogant around the bike and you know won't reduce much price so you know there are couple of due diligence that you can do when you are you know seeing a bike so probably i'll cover those in another video um another important thing that i want you to understand very carefully is don't piss off people you know first of thing nobody is there to hear your gyan you might know that okay there is was a you know special edition rx135 called the tiger which had a different type of decals on the tank you know a different uh, shock absorber whatever your gyan is your gyan good but don't give that gyan to anybody else um it is not polite um i have seen guys giving stupid gyan on olx i had a rx that tank for sale so one guy went ahead and he asked me if this is a five speed or a four speed tank you know i don't know the difference between the two probably if there are anybody in my subscriber list who knows that let me know um the 135 definitely had a different version whereas you had that fish mouth tank um but the rx uh, z never came in the fish mouth tank i don't know maybe it did i am not aware of it um but another important thing is uh, try and understand first what you are paying for so you know if you know the price of things if you know if it is available in the showroom i'll give you an example a brand new uh, a tank for rx135 cost somewhere around 100 or 135 original i'm talking about cost somewhere around 4000 4000 to 5000 i don't know the mrp right now but it is around that range so if you see a tank for 2000 rupees you don't ask this person whether it's original or whether it's brand new because nobody is going to sell you that uh, 
at that price unless and until you know he is related to you and chances of that is very low so don't make a fool out of yourself try and understand what you're paying for so ask the relevant questions ask if the tank has rust if it has repairs um if there is any issue see basically if you're buying a, let's say an rd350 tank you're buying a tank which is was last made in you know between 89 to 91 so after that rds were not available so these were old new stocks which are available so if it is 91 um you're looking at something which is already 30 29 30 years old so a 30 year old tank is not definitely going to be in factory condition and it is not definitely going to be brand new even if it is so stored in you know some magical location so understand that it is going to have age related problems so make sure that you are aware of the age related problems and you only ask those questions and find out if it is repaired if it is repaired find out if it is repaired well see you cannot find a brand new rxz tank right now for anything under 5000 bucks i can give it to you in writing if you can find one you are the luckiest person on earth i would say that take a loan from somewhere buy as many rxz tanks as you can if you have those available at that price point but it is not so it will be repaired so just find out how well it is repaired ask him ask the seller if it is repaired by a person who knows the job well or is it repaired by somebody um, you know who doesn't know get your due diligence done if it is repaired obviously you need to check if it is leaking find out if you have a local friend who can go and let's say pour some petrol or you know diesel in it and see if it is leaking so all those things you can find out find out before you go to such a location i can give you an example find out if it has a petrol tap and a lid if it doesn't have then obviously you cannot leak test it so if you are going to such a place you f- you know get yourself a petrol tap and a lid before you go there you know to check if the tank is working so these are things that you should ask these are intelligent questions that you should ask rather than going ahead and asking them you know questions that whether it's from a four speed or a five speed so i know the video is pretty long right now it's almost around 28 29 minutes so i'm not going to stretch it any further i hope i have driven my point across and i hope you guys have liked what i had to say and please subscribe if you did like share with your friends who would get benefited from this video i would really love to see you guys writing comments on this video tell me what you feel about whatever i spoke if you know there is anything that you would like me to add maybe shoot a new video on something so i plan to do a series on this olx videos um so next one is going to be a bit more on negotiation and also what to look for on a bike so probably you know we'll focus there you know in terms of paperwork um so i think i hope you like this video so that's it take care and have a wonderful night ahead bye bye